Howdy guys, Sarcasm here. Welcome to another episode of Tech It. In the last episode, we uh, eliminated our dependency off of coal. And we in got into some Blutricity with red power. Battery box is charging up nicely. And uh, upgraded our iron furnaces to electric furnaces. Upgraded our alloy furnace, well sort of. We still have the original alloy furnace, but we created a blue electric alloy furnace as well as a blue electric furnace. So now we don't we no longer have to use coal as a fuel. So now, in this episode, we need to make our machines a little bit faster. So what we're gonna want to get is a couple of overclocker upgrades. Recipe's pretty simple, just uh, some copper cable, some electronic circuits, and uh, some coolant cells. Now coolant cells are taken from water cells and put in an extractor. A water cell is just a bucket of water in an empty cell. We've already got some cells here. We have 13. can make a couple more. Like so. So there we go. That gives us 29. Uh, let's see if we can make like an even amount. Well, I guess we can't, can we? Wait, yeah, we can. Nah, we'll we'll stick with these. So what we're gonna do? Let's get our buckets out. Uh, it's it's really easy. You can actually just do it in your inventory here. It's one bucket, and there we go. There's our water cell, and it's a lot. <laughs> it's really easy when you have this going right here. So then you can just do this over and over. Uh, I've Before I learned that lava was transmutable, I would just sit down at a lava lake for several minutes at a time doing this very thing with lava. Um, these are probably transmutable, but I don't want to waste energy on them. Because, you know, water's actually easier to come by. So we'll just do this here. Now, a problem with extracting the water cells into coolant cells is that while the water cells stack, as you can see here, the coolant cells do not. So, we need to create a way to make it easier on us. And I'll show you that here in a moment. We're almost done here. Okay. We want to make uh, quite a few overclockers, so just bear with me here. And there we go. Alright, so now we got got a good supply of, of water cells. Now if I put these water cells in here, you're going to immediately notice a problem. Uh, put these up. So this is why we need overclockers. We need to get this to go faster. There's our problem. Since the coolant cells do not stack, the extractor will stop. So we need to create a way to where we don't have to sit here and just keep taking them out of our inventory over and over and over. So now we're going to start getting into some pipes. Yeah, buddy. Uh, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a gear. Now a gear pretty easy to make. Just four sticks together like that. And that gets us a wooden gear. We're going to actually need two of them for what we want to make. So there we go. Got our gears. Going to need a bit of glass. And going to need a bit of redstone. Yeah. And a thing of iron. Okay. Next what we need is a piston. Everybody knows the recipe for a piston. Or you should. <laughs> Ch 
just like that. So there's our piston. Now we're going to take that piston, surround it with gears, put some glass there, and a bit of wood. And now we have a redstone engine. Put that wood there. Now, we need some pipes. Come here, piece of wood. I'm out of wood, so now I need more wood. So let's just, uh, actually, how much is wood worth? Wood is worth eight. So, let's get rid of something. Um, lapis, I don't think, is a fuel. Yeah, okay, this is worth 864. So let's get us some, uh, some wood. Boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Two stacks of wood. Or almost two stacks. And it'll treat us well. Okay. Now the next thing we need to make, we're going to need our glass. So we need to make a wood pipe. Glass in the middle, wood on either side. Will give us eight wood pipes. Wood transport pipes are special. They are um, sucking pipes, if you will. So what you do is pipe, you put it on next to a machine, you know, like that. You see that kind of red bit? When we power this pipe with a redstone engine, it will pull things out of the machine. But I want to be a little cleaner about it, so <laughs> let's take that out there. We're going to put a chest here. So we need to get behind our machine. Like so. Oh, there's some coal back here. How handy. Okay, we'll put a torch there, just to put something there. See, now we're, we're behind our wiring network, which is good. We need to get behind our extractor, which is... One, two, three... One, two... Extractor should be here. Yep, there it is. Now we want to dig this down. Very good. Now, let's put our pipe here. Next, we're going to throw down our engine. There. Now we need to make a lever. But, I don't want to stick the lever back here. I want to have the ability to turn it on and off on my own. So, this is where our, our nifty alloy furnace is going to come in handy. We need a bit of iron, actually three bits of iron, 12 redstone. Cook them in the alloy. Now you notice the blue, the blue electric alloy furnace is actually a bit faster than the normal alloy furnace, so that helps a lot. And now one iron and four redstone together makes one red alloy ingot. You take three red alloy ingots put them in a crafting table like this, and you get red alloy wire. It's basically redstone, a normal redstone wire, except it can go onto the walls just like the uh, blue alloy wire that we were messing with before. So, I'm going to use this to power my redstone engine. Now, how do we want to wire this up? Um... Let's see. Let's get rid of this dirt. Oh, some copper. Might be careful because I could accidentally dig into like a cave or something. Okay. <clears throat> so this is where we're going to be putting our chest. Actually, I think I want to put the lever right here. So, wire this up. Actually, you can put the wire on the side. And I think that should actually be good. Let's get under it. I want to make sure the, the lever will actually turn it on. So I'm going to put it right there. And of course, to make a lever, we need not dirt, we need wood, stick, cobblestone, boom. 
and I'm going to put it here. Oh, there we go. Now it works. So now it'll pipe that coolant cell out through this pipe. So let's uh, flip that back off. Well, now we need it. We need it to go somewhere. So what we're going to create now is cobblestone pipes. Now these are just your basic transport pipes, so they they don't have to be powered. And this is what we'll use. Oh, darn. We need to go out one more. I don't think that'll be a problem, but just in case, I'm a little concerned. I don't know. Well, that's smart of me. Okay. I'm a little concerned with the coolants, uh, with the pipe being powered like that. <laughs> be a problem. I don't think it will. Except for the fact that it could mess up the chest. Or it could mess up the whole system. I guess we'll find out, huh? So let's make a chest. There we go. Set her down. And let's activate the system and see how it goes. So it's pulled it out. It's in it's in the back wall now. And it's heading this way. Can't really see it. Now it is a little slow, but there are ways to speed that up. Oh, here it comes. I just want to make sure this works. And it doesn't interfere with anything. So we should see it here in a second. Oh, there it is. Coming right on in to the chest. Voila. So now we have three. So now, get some of this copper dust going. Now we need some refined iron. Let's see. We'll just make eight refined iron for now. Throw that into our blue electric furnace. See, isn't that handy? We've got our electric furnaces cooking our all of our copper, and we have an extra furnace to cook our iron. I think it works out pretty well. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, can we have anything else cooking, I wonder? Should probably cook some more copper. Or macerate the copper, I should say. And we got that. Pulling those into there. So here's what we can do. Take these out. This in here. Let's get some electronic circuits. Oh, I didn't, dang it, I didn't have, do you see that? I did not have enough cable for that recipe, in the crafting table for that recipe to work, so it actually took the recipe itself. You have to kind of be careful with that. There we go. Alright, now, to make our overclocker, we take an electronic circuit. Uh, oh, we need wires. <laughs> Oops. Take our electronic circuit, throw in our coolant cells, and then our wires on either side. There's an overclocker. 
and then you stick the overclocker into an upgrade slot and as you can see it's moving a little bit faster so you can make two more it really does suck that these things don't stack but I think they do that because of the nuclear reactor because these are the same coolant cells that you, you would use in a nuclear reactor so I think that's the purpose because you would be able to make some crazy powered nuclear reactors if you could stack coolant cells <laughs> alright so now we got some more overclockers so let's throw those in there now a problem with the overclockers is if you have too many in a machine it's uh... it'll create a problem where the machine will use more power than it contains quicker and see even now we've got three overclockers in here it's actually finishing the coolant cell faster than the redstone engine can do a rotation to get the coolant cell out so i'm actually going to take one overclocker out of here throw it into the macerator two overclockers should do it okay let's go make another one boom boom Oops. and throw that in the macerator let's see if we have enough to get two overclockers per machine I think that's probably the best we can hope for get some more of that cooking got our copper throw those in there, let's get some more wires throw a stack in there got this thing a flint for no apparent reason let's just teach it to the oh I have wires in here and rubber holy crap throw some rubber in there nice to know <laughs> alright so we're doing pretty good doing pretty good one two three four five six can make a couple more So yeah, it's a pretty good investment right here. Get you some overclockers. Let's go ahead and put one in each furnace here. There we go. Can make another. Oop. Another thing about the overclockers is that obviously they're going to be using more energy out of the bat box. So there may come a point where we're using more energy than what our bat box can provide. So let's take a look. See right now uh, the geothermal generator is able to provide enough power to the bat box to compensate for these machines that we're using. So we're doing alright. Doing alright for now. Later on we're going to need to add some some more power sources to keep us going. Put those in there. But yeah, pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's one more on the way. Okay. Two, three. Whoop. Three. Overclocker. Now let's get one more uh, circuit. Can't overclock the blue electric devices, unfortunately. Get another circuit. and make another clocker. Alright, so now each of our furnaces have one overclocker. Our extractor's got two. Macerator will go ahead and give three. You see how it's kind of fluctuating there? One more overclocker and this thing won't be able to over <laughs> it won't be able to use um, its power quick enough. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see. See how that's doing. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and cut that one off there. Next time on Tech It, I'll show you what you can do to compensate for, for having too many overclockers. Go ahead and shut that off. Um, 
actually I'm gonna put this is like an indicator when it's on or off <laughs> that works pretty well so yeah next time I'll, I'll uh, we're gonna get into some higher voltages so we can compensate for multiple overclockers so I'll see you guys then and like that so now let's take our wrench lift that up and put the MFE down now we don't want to hook it up yet because our stuff will blow up and as you can see it outputs at 128 EU and, the, and it can hold a lot more energy and the geothermal generator is already charging it so what we want to do now put our transformer upgrades it actually doesn't matter where you put them in the upgrade slot I just like to put them there in that particular spot um, the more you stack transformer upgrades determines how much higher of a voltage it can handle. One transformer upgrade will let you do the MFE voltage. I believe two transformer upgrades will let you do the MFSU voltage, but I haven't actually had a reason to go that far. So now everything's got transformer upgrades and we can hook them up. So there we go. There we go. Let's get our get the floor rebuilt <laughs> like so